rudely interrupted my bad. So I'm just going to finish off what we were doing. So this is the second part of the no equipment class coming into the box shape. Make sure those hands are underneath the shoulders, especially when we take one hand off at a time. Shoulders pull down the spine, taking the leg behind you, square the hips, flex the foot, squeeze it up and down. If you've got weak wrists, you come onto your forearms, tuck your chin in, otherwise I find people strain their neck if they hold it up here. So that's your option or here. Making sure those shoulders are under the wrists. Four more. Three. Two. One. Taking the opposite hand off. Believe me, it doesn't work with the same hand. Squeeze it up and down. Two. If you find your wrist is hurting, come onto your forearms. But try and gauge into that core to keep you up and light in that hand on the mat. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knee, squeeze it as hard as you can for ten. Nine. So try not to bring it down, try bring it up high. Eight, seven, six. If balance is your issue or you're a beginner, you can keep it lower and just push it as high as you need to. Three, two, one, bring it down, fire hydrant, ten, nine, eight, seven, be light as you can in that hand, six, you can keep your hand here, just make sure those shoulders are pulled down the spine, four, not wearing them as earrings, three, two, one, take it behind you, hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it into fire hydrant for ten, as high as you can, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Not resting yet. Shoulders are underneath, the hands are underneath the shoulders. Other legs square the hip, squeeze it up and down. Two, remember you're either on your forearms tucking the chin right in or on your hands. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep those abs nice and tight. Ten. Opposite hand off the mat. Ten, flex that foot. Nine, squeezing all the way from the glutes to the heel. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bending, flex, squeeze, nice and high. Ten, nine, Eight, keep that core engaged. Seven, so it works back and core. Six, delicious combination. Five, four, three, two, one. And side. Make sure you're breathing. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it back and hold for ten. Pull the tummy in. Don't let that back arch. Keep that core engaged. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it to the side for five hundred and ten. Nine. Pull the tummy in. Be light in that hand. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Pushing back into a nice stretch. Child's pose. 
if you need to work a little bit more deeper elbows come in line with the knees tuck the chin in sink the back down so the second set maybe we can stretch more nothing really helps relieve the lactic acid but let's do it anyway on the second set so again that box shape hands are a little bit underneath the shoulders a little bit back if you can not here putting too much pressure on the wrist because then you're putting all your weight instead of it being into here it's going to hinge into the carpal tunnel causes injuries feet to hip width apart this leg up bend the knee and squeeze it across the other side and up squeeze those inner thighs together and up three squeeze it up four squeeze five squeeze so don't let that knee touch the floor so you just want to touch the back of the knee and then squeeze it up two squeeze it up one taking the opposite hand again off squeeze it down and up ten if you find balance is an issue maybe you want to tuck your toes not for this one I find it just goes deeper into my knee four three two one take it out to the side working into the obliques and the back ten nine eight seven be light in this hand six or shift in the weight forward five four three two one hold it up here for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one come onto the butt squeeze those knees in maybe come into a diamond shape if it helps if not lift it up or a figure four if you figure four walk in those hands closer upper body comes closer come into the other leg now feet are hip width apart those hands are a little bit underneath the shoulders other leg comes up square the hips bend the knee squeeze it across and up two and up three squeeze it up four squeeze five you can point that foot if you want a more active foot three two one taking the opposite hand off and squeeze ten nine eight seven six five if you get cramps in your feet you can flex four three two one taking it out so from here take it out to the side lift it up and squeeze ten nine bringing it into core plank on the right or the other side seven six five four three two one hold it up here for ten nine eight seven six five four three two bring it down on one or maybe that was cheating if you feel i was cheating i hope you held it there taking one foot on top figure four 
walk the hands forward. So this is not delicious, it's a stinky stretch, but it sure is stretching. Taking it to the other side. Walk it forward. And release. Last sit. Coming back onto your forearms. Again, that stacking. A little bit deeper. If you find it's too much and balance is an issue, bring that hand down. If you really want to challenge yourself, keep it up when we do. Flex the foot, toe out. Just take it to a small, maybe 25 degrees, two, maybe 45, three, four. Just keep it nice and high. Five, bend both arms. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Take it out to a degree, whatever degree you're at, and hold. Other hand off the mat for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it forward for ten. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, take it up, and fire hard. And just to give yourself a break, two, three, feeling good into the other back, or working, four. So no sharpshooting pain, but pain's good, or discomfort, five, six. Keep the core nice and tight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and push back. I think we do need a stretch here. I'm gonna twist around. You can check if I get my other leg as high. Um, I think this is my tighter hip. Again, hands are underneath or a little bit back, other foot off the mat, flex the foot out to the side. Take the hands a bit wider, bend the elbows, 10, so either 45 or a full 90, whatever you want, 9, 8, 7, So that hand that's going to stay on the mat, that's the side you're leaning to. Four, three, two, one. Taking the opposite hand off. Ten, nine. It really takes it that much further quickly. Eight, seven. Shift the weight into that side that's on the mat, not necessarily the hand. Three, two, one, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it into, so take it up, side, ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and push back. That was hard. Whatever stretch is working for you. I'm enjoying this one. So the figure four now on the mat, taking the one foot, flexing it onto the knee. The hand either comes behind. So one hand through the triangle, 
the other hand around the calf or the thigh. So that's if you're less flexible. If you're more flexible, clasping onto the front of the calf, pushing that knee away. And then pull that knee that you're holding closer to the face. This is stinky, but it stretches. Definitely a stinky stretch. Changing sides. Flexing that foot, push that knee out. The hand goes through the triangle. The other hand, so if you need the flexibility or you don't have it, bring your head up and then relax it down. Pushing that bent knee that's in the figure four away from you. Doing any other stretches that you feel works for you, especially stretching into hamstrings and have an awesome day.